Hello, I'm Philip Stoughton for ID People. I'm here at the Wise Media EMEA event in uh, Abu Dhabi, and I'm joined by Erki Gut. Erki, thank you very much for talking to me. You're um, from the Ministry of Interior in Estonia, and you're going to be presenting, I believe, this afternoon. It seems to me Estonia is a real kind of thought leader in, in identification and the, uh, the whole use of that data. Why do, you, why do you think that is? Why is the country taking, taking the mantle up so aggressively? Uh, I can proudly say that, uh, yes, we are. Uh, why we are, uh, I think um, uh, after the Soviet occupation, our country just uh, developed uh, so quickly and uh, actually uh, we didn't uh, have uh, all those steps that maybe Western European uh, did. So uh, we, we went just to the next level and uh, that's what helps us uh, be so innovative. And uh, of course uh, close uh, uh, cooperation with Scandinavian countries is also uh, one of the key key element of that. Mm. And do you think there's something, I mean, one of the things you do seem to have moved forward on is the technology, the whole, the whole technology behind it. Does Estonia have a really strong academic base in, in, in technical development? Yes, we have a quite good uh, education in, uh, in that level. Uh, however, uh, its uh, technology can be uh, implemented uh, if you have idea. So uh, most important is have idea. Uh, what you want to do and uh, definitely you will find the uh, engineers and uh, smart people who can help uh, you to do it. Okay, and this afternoon, what's the, what's the basic uh, emphasis of, the, of this afternoon's discussion? Uh, today afternoon I will talk about uh, e-country. Estonia definitely is e-country. Uh, actually, uh, uh, e-government is uh, something we have already uh, 15 years. Uh, mm -hmm. So that means that our children uh, uh, learn it in, yeah. in history lessons in okay. our schools already. So uh, it's uh, it's that old uh, for us. That means uh, paperless government. Uh, but uh, on another hand, it's uh, uh, great uh, threats as well. You should face to uh, 2007. We were under the cyber attacks, and uh, we were the, one of the first countries in the world under the so uh, uh, well coordinated and. Uh, and uh, if, uh, effective, uh, effectively carried out cyber attacks. But uh, we managed, uh, right now we are stronger. That means uh, if you want to develop E country, you should always keep it in mind that uh, if E will be removed, then you, you should act like as, a country yeah, yeah. after that as well. Yeah. So you still have to have the protections in place, you still have to have the controls in place that you yeah. would in any kind of government, but, but it, perhaps even more so in e-government where, where threats can come from a much greater distance, I would imagine. Yes, uh, of course, uh, threats uh, come all over the world, mm. but uh, on another hand, your opportunity to make business is also yeah. all over the world yeah. because uh, in Estonia you can uh, uh, establish a company if you uh, are in New Zealand for okay. example it's uh, e, not e-company it's real company and uh, after that you can uh, uh, fulfill your tax declarations from uh, New Zealand or where, mm. ever, every place where you have internet so uh, and also elections. Uh, our last uh, last election, parliament elections, uh, 2011, uh, we had uh, persons uh, from uh, 105 countries okay. who participated our elections, okay. Okay. and uh, that means you can bring more more citizens to the democracy. Yeah, that's excellent. Well, Erki, thank you very much for your time. Thanks for chatting to me. Thank you. Very good luck with this afternoon's presentation. I look forward to speaking again soon. Thank you. Okay, thank you.